Here I am ready to lift the last needle on the side with the main mark. So here's my main mark. So here's my last needle before the target on the side with the main mark. Lifted it, cranking back. And now I'm going to lift the last one before the target mark on the side with my halfway mark. Oops, that one didn't catch again. Always good to move up the heel forks right at the end here anyway. Now we're going to push down the first two needles. That's to help avoid kind of a dog ear. So we're going to push them down, but remember, make sure the latches are open. They, they're not all the way down. You can see these are all the way down. They're just a little bit down so that the latches stay open. And then I wrapped the yarn back behind those two needles and crank back around. Same thing on this side. So we're going to push down the first two needles making sure the latches stay open. And I'm going to wrap the yarn back behind those two needles. From here, I'm going to push one needle down at a time and wrap the yarn behind that one needle. over here again so you can see it a little better. Push the needle down, make sure the latch is open, and then I'm going to wrap the needle, the yarn, behind that one needle and crank back. You're going to keep doing that all the way until the last needle before the main mark and the halfway mark. Here I am with the last needle lifted before the main mark. I'm going to push that needle down like usual and wrap behind, but then I'm also going to wrap behind the needle next to it, the last raised needle. So the raised needle that's just past the main mark and then crank back around. I'm going to do the same on this side, push down the last one before the halfway mark wrap behind that one and behind the first lifted needle, the one just past the halfway mark. This time, very important, I'm only going to crank a short ways until the halfway mark is at nine o'clock. Just right there. Now I'm going to push all the needles back into work. Make sure the latches are open both that they're, they're flipped open and also don't push so low that they then close again. Now I'm going to disengage the heel spring and reset my row counter. You can also remove the heel forks and then reset your soft weight and cable ring. So it's a little challenging because you want to stuff all of those heel rows into your cable ring. So you can try to get it as even as possible. It'll be a little off center, but kind of do your best. I sometimes poke the end down in just to help make it a little bit more even. Now you're going to crank the number of foot rows you calculated earlier. For me, that was 66. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.